Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn all about the pandas merge function and how to create SQL-like joins directly with pandas. Let's get started. The pandas merge function is an incredibly versatile function available within pandas. It allows you to create simple and concise statements to recreate SQL-like join statements directly within a data frame. You can merge two different data frames on a single key or multiple keys, as well as take advantage of a whole variety of different join types. Let's take a look. Before we dive into using the pandas merge function, I wanted to take a little bit of time to cover off the different merge types available. If, you ever, if you've ever used SQL in the past, these will seem quite familiar, but let's get a quick refresher. The first type of join we'll cover off is the left join. Here we have two different tables. We have table one and we have table two. You can see here that table one contains records that table two doesn't. Similarly, table two contains records that table one doesn't. So when we complete a left join, we bring over all of the records from table one and only the corresponding records from table two because table one sits on the left. So when we run a left join, we can see that the records from table two down here have been dropped. What will happen is that all of these will get filled in as blank values to their corresponding matches in table one. The next type of join is a right join. The right join works very similarly to the left join in that it keeps all of the records from the right table and drops any of the records that don't have corresponding values in the left table. So we can see here that when you complete a right join based on these two tables with table two sitting on the right, the records in table one that don't have corresponding values in, in table two get dropped. The next type of join is a full join or sometimes called an outer join. What's special about this is that it keeps the values from both tables regardless if they have corresponding values in the other table. So in this case, all of the values would be kept and filled in with missing values where there aren't corresponding values that exist. The last type of join we'll take a look at is the inner join. The inner join does the exact opposite of the outer join in that it keeps only the records that exist across both tables. So in this case, these values here would be dropped from both tables and only the corresponding values that exist in both tables would remain. Okay, let's write some code. I've already imported pandas here and I created two different data sets that I'll link to down below that we can load into the data frames using the pandas read excel function. The first one will assign to an object called clients and the second one to an object called orders. Let's take a look at what these look like. So we can write clients.head and orders.head. So what we can see here is that we have one table that contains client information, including the first name and last name, their date of birth, their gender, and the join date. There's also a unique identifier here called client ID. On our second table, we have our in order information where we have an order number, the order date, the user ID, and the total. The user ID matches up with the client ID found in the clients table. So let's take a look at how to use the pandas merge function to actually merge these data frames together. Let's do the simplest type of merges without actually specifying anything and see what we get back out of this. So we can write pd.merge and what we'll do is identify the left table, which here we'll just use the clients table. Then we'll write, use right equals orders to specify the right table. Because our merging variables don't have the same name, we need to specify each of these individually. So we can write left on, which lets us identify of the left table, which variable do we want to use to merge the data on, which in this case would be client ID. So we'll write client ID. Similarly for right on, we'll use user ID. Now let's run this and see what it gives back. We can see here that it's returned an inner join. This is the default type of join that Pandas uses unless something else is specified. So it only includes records that exist within both data sets. 
Now what if we wanted to create a left join? We could do this by using the how argument. So we can go and copy this entire piece of code here and then simply write how equals left. Now when we run this we can see that it's brought over all of the records from the left table and only the corresponding information from the right table. Now we can see here in our orders table that we have a user ID of 4 that doesn't exist in the clients table. In a left join this isn't a problem because all of these records exist in the orders table but if we were to change this to be a right join then we can see that it still kept all of the information from the right table but filled in missing values for everything that doesn't exist in the left table. Similarly, we can use an outer join in order to merge all of the data across both tables. We can do this by replacing right with outer and running it again. Now we get the exact same result we had before because the left table includes all of the records that exist in the right table but the right table contains more than the left. Now what if you wanted to know per record set which table the information was accessible for? You can use the indicator argument. So let's say we just add the indicator argument to this line of code. We'll write indicator equals true. When we run this it includes a new merge argument here where it identifies whether or not a single table or both of the tables contain the merged data. So in this case, both tables contain information on client ID 1 and user ID 1. However, in the case of the last one, information is only found in the right table. Now, in many cases, you might end up with a situation where you need to merge on multiple keys. I've created two more data sets here that we'll use in order to demonstrate how this can be done in Pandas. So let's load these into the data set and you can find the links in the description. So when we run this, let's take a look at what both of these actually look like. We can see here that we have stock prices for different dates at both the open and the close. Now if we expand our selections here to show the first 10 records, we can see that there's actually information on two different stock tickers included. However, they exist for the same date. So if we were to merge simply on either the date or the stock price, Pandas wouldn't be able to tell what information to really bring over. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So in order to do this, we can write pd.merge. We'll write left equals open right equals high and in this case because we have the exact same variable names between across the two different tables we can simply write for example on date. When we run this we can see that we end up getting four pieces of information returned for each date when there really should only be two. What we can see happening here is that it creates two new variables called stock x and stock y where x is the left table and y is the right table. In this case it's creating a left merge based on the value it finds in the left table and then brings over both values from the right table. It then moves on to the second value it finds for that date and does the exact same thing. Now while this information is true it's also a little difficult to read because really we're only interested in the day's values for the exact same stock ticker. So we're not necessarily interested in bringing over the value for DJI as well as GSPC for the exact same date. We're really only interested in this row here. So the way that we can accomplish this is by merging on multiple keys. So we can write pd.merge left equals open right equals high, and then for the on, vari on argument, we'll include a list here. We'll write date as well as stock. When we run this, we can see that it no longer generates a stock x and a stock y variable. It only keeps the stock variable. 
Similarly, it only brings over the information for DJI for each date rather than bringing over both. These types of compound key joints are incredibly useful when you're getting information from a very large database that just happens to include multiple keys that you need to merge on. Okay, so you've learned quite a bit in this video. You learned what the different join types available within Pandas are, how to use the Pandas merge function, as well as covering off some examples of how to actually use the merge function. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, be sure to hit the like button and click subscribe if you haven't yet. Click the little bell icon to be notified of when I release new videos just like this one. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.